at night and on rolling seas, another few dozen people get into trouble trying to get into Europe. The Icelandic Coast Guard is part of an international operation in the Mediterranean, but should what happens after the rescues be international too? The EU is proposing a quota so that all member countries take their share of migrants. This afternoon, the foreign affairs chief went to the UN to call for help with the migrant problem. Addressing this situation is first of all a moral duty for us, but it is also a shared interest of all countries involved, the ones around the Mediterranean as well as countries of origin and transit. Despite the dangers, every month there are still thousands more willing to take their chances. The UN's refugee agency says 207,000 crossed the Mediterranean last year and there were 3,500 deaths. This year 60,000 have attempted the crossing already and around 1,800 of them have drowned trying. These people were new arrivals in Italy this weekend. They fled Libya for the closest European country. But the Italian government says the burden of all these new people is becoming hard to bear. Germany takes in tens of thousands a year too. Both countries are supporting a quota, but the UK isn't. In a statement, the Home Office said the UK has a proud history of offering asylum to those who need it most. But we do not believe that a mandatory system of resettlement is the answer. Our focus must be on targeting and stopping the callous criminals who lie behind this vile trade in human beings. The UK is supporting military action targeting that trade in Libya. The debates will come next month, but today Europe acknowledged that without action from everyone, the boats and the bodies will keep coming. Dominic Reynolds, 5 News.